What's up, guys? We are back, season two, second episode, and we are here with Team Barracks, who just went to na who just came back from nationals. So tell us, guys, how was the trip? Uh, the trip was quite fun. It was something new. Uh, Chicago is a pretty beautiful city. I really, really enjoyed it. How about you? How about you? Uh, it was really great trip. My ass hurts from sitting down yeah. that long, uh, but overall we had fun. So yeah. Well, the it was a really long trip, Chicago, 22 hours, but once we got there, the city was pretty good. Um, I'm really disappointed of how it turned out, but overall, it was a good experience. We got to try something new. We, this was the first Nationals, and overall, good experience, but here you go. So, how did you guys prepare for this National event? Let's start off with the <laughs> um, Well, we tried to have uh, Wednesday tournaments here at the barracks, and we made them free, so we'd had a lot more people so we could play a lot of the different matchups um, and online research taking a look at the decks text that people would play and seeing how we could play against them All right. so how did the competition look for you JC uh, <laughs> I was hoping to play a lot of mirror match but it didn't happen unfortunately uh, but other than that competition looked good they were supposed to be the the best players in the nation so it was tough it was a great competition all right, so I heard um, you and Andy play each other. So, um, Andy, how did you feel about that? Well, honestly, I felt like it was bound to happen in one of these tournaments eventually. Like, we've been to a lot of big tournaments, upper-level tournaments, and we haven't really played against ourselves. And honestly, it was just um, bad luck in our, um, what happened. So, um, how was your first Nats, Baka? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. It was, it was great going. We met Pegasus. <laughs> so was that like your highlight? Like that was, was one of my highlights, one yes. Of my highlights. One of my highlights. All right. Um, anything special occur for you, JT? Uh, yeah, I got to watch the voice actor Pegasus have a live action duel against the voice actor that plays Kaiba. And uh, it was really, really entertaining seeing that. I mean, it was really cool. Um, other than that, anything else special occurred? Um, other than that, a bunch of like cool decks made it to day two. That was pretty much my highlight. It was awesome seeing that. That was pretty cool. All right. So, um, what did you guys run, and how old did how what was you guys record at the end of the Swiss? Okay. Well, I ended up running dragons. Um, I did not make it a day two, but at, at the end of day one, I was four wins, three losses, and one draw. One of my losses being to JT, my own teammate, and my draw being because I took forever game one. Um, it was my fault in my part, but yeah, that's my record. I had the same record as this guy, but. <laughs> With Constellers. <laughs> uh, I ended up going X2 the first day, 6-2. Uh, I made the t uh, the day two cut, made it to day two, had to show up right after. I, I only got like six hours of sleep. First match, I played Evil Swarm, and uh, unfortunately, it went bad. He, uh, he had the iron wall, but whatever. Um, I stayed in the tournament, and I didn't want to drop, so... My duel after that was a no-show, so I got a free win. And my last duel was a mirror match, and I came out with a win. And all I could, all I did was hope that I made top 64, but too many draws, and didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my final ranking was 118. 118, that's that's great. Um, now, any future plans for you guys? We'll start with Baka. Like so after this last one, what are you guys expecting now? Uh, Spellbooks and dragons to get raped by the band list, pretty <laughs> much. And um, I don't know, just put in more time towards play testing, and hopefully we'll do better next time. Well, the ban list is bound to hit spell books and dragons, but I feel like I might still end up running dragons. If not, I have a, a couple other decks in mind. Um, but honestly, we can't really tell right now until after September. And JT? Uh, future plans. Uh, right now it's off season, so for me it's just Lay back, chill, have fun. Um, watch. Uh, I'm gonna pay attention to the next six, the new archetypes that are come out for the new meta, to see if any of these new archetypes are gonna make it to the national season, and if they do, well, that's what I'm gonna prepare for. But for these six months, I'm gonna kick back, uh, catch up with some fighting games. I have a huge fighting game tournament coming up, and uh, just analyze the meta to see what's gonna happen for ne for next national season. Um, anything else you guys would like to add to to it? Anything else you guys would like to say to your fans out there? Anything like that? Sorry we didn't talk. That's it. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing really. We're just really disappointed how it ended up turning out, but 
yeah, it happens. It's hey, it's you. You guys did your best, man. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I didn't top. <laughs> 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 it was my first nationals. Um, I did uh, I I did better than I thought I was gonna do. So I mean, overall, it was great. Um, other than that, I love Chicago. My God, that city is gorgeous. It was amazing. I, I had a blast. It was awesome. All right, guys. Shout out Canyon. You shot a right? Yeah, <laughs> we shot a cannon. Not on a boat. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it was awesome. All right. So that's it, guys. That is Team Barracks National Experience. Um, stay tuned for future KOG events. All right, this is Deuce here. And this is JT. And this is Juan. And Andy. And we are out.